simply stated, there is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. They're dialing up the rhetoric on Iraq. Let's see if we can nail them down, OK? Let's get to work. We're working on a theory that the administration has already decided to go to war and is now focused on how to justify it. It's not a theory. We're working on something important. That's why I'm here, to make you an offer. It's Joe Galloway. Wow. And even walks like he has a bronze star. What do you want to know? Everything the administration doesn't want us to know. A secret war planning group has been set up in the building where I work. And which building is that? The one with five sides. How real is the chatter about Iraq? Barry, are you looking into an Iraqi connection? No one's actually come out and said anything publicly. Maybe it's just backroom speculation. Can't we hit it harder than this? I know that a man named Ahmed Shalabi wants to replace Saddam Hussein, that the neocons are pushing for the invasion, and you are quickly becoming my favorite writer. Wow. Don't let me down. Proof is coming from every major media outlet in the country, except yours. All right, all right. I'm speaking to you because I'm an American citizen, and I don't like what these people are doing. You got to see this. What do we do? When the government says something, you only have one question to ask. Is it true? Search is underway to find those responsible. We write for people whose kids get sent to war. Our readers need to know. The president's going to invade Iraq. We're going to run her whether he comments or not. The president is lying. He's lying! What was the setup? There's always something you don't see coming. They don't care about the truth. If they want a war, they're going to get one. I say, in all due respect, sir, my sources might even be in this room. Did you actually have sources in the room? No. But it was fun watching them sweat like whores in church. <laughs>